I think the bigger point, besides people don't like paying tolls, is people around here are a little upset that we're paying a toll and the rest of the loop isn't. So why isn't... Wolfpack knows, right? <laughs> so like why... I'm an engineer, I'm a Wolfpacker too, so yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, so do you, I mean, do you have any response to that? Because uh, people ask me that all the time. Sure, sure, yeah, and, and we get that question all the time. Yeah. Um, and it all goes back to the fiscal, fiscal constraints in the state transportation improvement plan. The, the northern section of 540 scored well enough that it could be funded with state and federal dollars and did not require tolls to accelerate or bridge any funding gaps. The original section of Triangle Expressway, which opened in 2012, had it gone the route of the traditional STIP, at best would have been open this calendar year. And so that is 13 years that those customers have had that option to ride on the existing Triangle Expressway. And I say at best because, as I mentioned before, projects in this area are slipping. And so it still may not have been open to this date. And so that's it. I think that is the payoff that the, the local planning organization found that the area is growing so much they need alternative routes for transportation and that was a means to an end to get a project constructed to and and to to further that the phase two projects we're constructing now it, it, it this is my own humble opinion i don't think they would have ever been built in the traditional step they would have continued to slip they would not have scored well enough in the traditional funding and so by by introducing tolling as a means to bridge that funding gap we're able to complete the outer loop and give alternative routes for folks. All right, <clears throat> two other quick questions. Uh,